All right, everyone, gather around. Imagine a slow, invisible fire smoldering inside you. Not dramatic flames, no sirens, no smoke alarm, but a tiny persistent ember that singes your tissues day after day. That ember has a name scientists hate to be poetic about, inflammaging. It's chronic low-grade inflammation, and if you're over 50, it's secretly rewriting the rules of your biology. Today, I'm going to walk you through the 10 levels of how this stealthy process ages you, what it looks like, what it feels like, and why the earliest signs are the most important. Sound grim? Maybe. Wait, inflammaging? Is that like getting older, but louder? Inflammaging is like getting older with the volume knob stuck halfway up. The background noise never goes away. Your immune system, which used to roar only when you were sick or injured, now hums constantly. That hum is made up of tiny chemical messengers called cytokines and pro-inflammatory markers, and over years they wear down tissues, organs, and cells. Let's start at the beginning. Level 1. The Silent Spark Low-Grade Chronic Inflammation Level 1 is deceptively quiet. You don't see swelling or feel high fevers. You feel a little off. A subtle fatigue. A need for longer recovery after workouts. A general erosion of vitality. That's the silent spark. Under the hood, your immune system is producing small amounts of IL-6, TNF-alpha, and CRP. Markers doctors can detect in a blood test. Individually, they're tiny. Together, they're corrosive. Imagine a slow leak in a dam. Day after day, a trickle widens a crack and functional capacity slowly falls. Many people shrug this off as normal aging. That's the tragedy. Normal here is often preventable. The good news is, at level 1, the ember is still small. Early action has outsized benefits. So it's like being nudged every day until you fall over? Exactly. That's the physics of chronic insult. Level 2. Mitochondrial slowdown. Move to level 2 and you get hit at the cellular power stations, the mitochondria. Chronic inflammation damages mitochondrial membranes, impairs the electron transport chain, and reduces ATP production. Translation? Your cells make less usable energy. That's why mental fog, sluggishness, and exercise intolerance show up. Your brain is energy hungry. When mitochondria underperform, cognitive speed and endurance drop. There's a vicious feedback loop here. Damaged mitochondria leak. Reactive oxygen species, ROS. ROS amplify inflammation. In other words, your energy plants not only stop producing power efficiently, they add fuel to the fire. This mechanistic cycle explains why people feel increasingly drained despite sleeping more or exercising. So fewer batteries in the phone of my body? Precisely. And the battery drain shows up in tasks you used to do automatically. Level 3. Collagen breakdown begins. Level 3 is the one most folks notice in mirrors and joints. Collagen breakdown. Collagen is not just a beauty industry buzzword. It's the primary structural protein across skin, cartilage, blood vessels, and organ scaffolding. Chronic inflammation activates enzymes called matrix metalloproteinases, MMPs, that cleave collagen and elastin. Result? Skin loses elasticity, joints become less resilient, and blood vessels stiffen. This is more than cosmetic wrinkle talk. When arterial collagen degrades, vessel walls lose compliance, increasing systolic blood pressure and creating micro damage that predisposes to atherosclerosis. When cartilage quality falls, joint lubrication and shock absorption degrade, accelerating osteoarthritis. Collagen breakdown is a multi-system structural failure, and it often outpaces the body's slower repair mechanisms. So all those expensive creams are just decorations? Topicals can help, but if the scaffolding is being eaten from inside, surface treatments are cosmetic props. Level 4. Brain fog and memory slips. Level 4 is the one that scares me the most because it attacks identity. Brain fog, forgetfulness, word-finding difficulty, and slowed processing speed. Chronic peripheral inflammation can increase blood-brain barrier BBB permeability. Once that barrier is compromised, peripheral cytokines, immune cells, and stress hormones can access neural tissue and disrupt synaptic function. What happens after the BBB leak? The hippocampus, the memory and learning hub, shows reduced neurogenesis. Neuroinflammation impairs long-term potentiation, the physiological basis of memory storage. Clinically, this manifests as absent-mindedness, decreased multitasking ability, and emotional lability. 
Importantly, longitudinal studies link persistent systemic inflammation to accelerated cognitive decline and higher dementia risk. Are there tests that catch this before it becomes a headline? Yes, inflammatory biomarkers, cognitive screens, and even imaging when clinically indicated. Level 5. Accelerated Muscle Loss At Level 5, inflammation begins to eat your power to move, sarcopenia, or accelerated muscle loss. Starting around 50, we naturally lose about 1% of muscle mass per year. With chronic inflammation, that rate accelerates significantly. Cytokines like TNF-alpha interfere with anabolic signaling pathways, and they upregulate proteolysis. Your body literally breaks down muscle proteins faster than it builds them. The consequences ripple outward. Muscle is not just for aesthetics, it's a metabolic organ. Less muscle means lower basal metabolic rate, poorer glucose control, and increased insulin resistance. Strength declines, functional capacity drops, fall risk rises. Even if you exercise, high inflammation can blunt hypertrophic responses and limit gains. So it's like your scaffolding and engines are both getting weaker at the same time? That nails it. Your body is losing scaffolds and power simultaneously. That double hit accelerates frailty. Level 6. Hormonal Chaos At level 6, inflammation begins rewiring your endocrine system. This isn't a tiny inconvenience. Hormones control appetite, metabolism, mood, sex drive, sleep, and bone health. Chronic inflammation disrupts insulin signaling creating insulin resistance that raises blood glucose and promotes visceral fat accumulation. So, inflammation is making you fat, in the worst sneaky way? Exactly. It shifts fat storage to the belly, fat that's hormonally active and itself secretes more inflammatory signals. Meanwhile, inflammation elevates cortisol, your stress hormone, which breaks down muscle and increases abdominal fat. Level 7. Gut Health Decline Is the gut really where everything goes wrong? Short answer, yes and no. The gut is where inflammation frequently accelerates. Chronic systemic inflammation damages the intestinal lining, increasing permeability, the so-called leaky gut. Tiny molecules, LPS, undigested peptides, cross into the bloodstream and trigger immune responses everywhere. So that gut barrier is like my apartment door. Once it's open, uninvited guests keep sending drama texts. Perfect metaphor. On top of that, inflammation disturbs the microbiome the ecosystem of bacteria that manufacture short-chain fatty acids, vitamins, and neuroactive compounds. Loss of beneficial bacteria means less butyrate, an anti-inflammatory metabolite, and more opportunistic microbes pumping out inflammatory molecules. Level 8. Vascular and Heart Damage Level 8 is where inflammation moves from nuisance to life-threatening, vascular and cardiac damage. Inflammation drives endothelial dysfunction, accelerates atherosclerotic plaque formation, and destabilizes plaques so they rupture, causing heart attacks and strokes. So that tiny ember can become a full-blown forest fire in your arteries? Yes, chronic cytokines recruit immune cells into artery walls where they foam up with lipids and create plaques. Over years, this narrows arteries and reduces perfusion. The surprising fact, many heart disease cases have a strong inflammatory component independent of cholesterol levels. That's why anti-inflammatory lifestyle changes lower cardiac risk beyond just lowering LDL. Level 9. Immune System Burnout and Autoimmunity At level 9, the immune system itself is worn out. Immunosenescence. After decades of low-grade activation, immune cells lose vigor, the thymus atrophies, and response to vaccines weakens. Paradoxically, immune exhaustion can also mean autoimmunity. The system stops distinguishing self from threat. Level 10. Systemic Degeneration and Accelerated Aging Level 10 is the cumulative consequence. Systemic degeneration, multi-organ decline, frailty, cognitive impairment, cardiovascular disease, metabolic dysfunction, and a higher risk of age-related cancers. At this stage, inflammaging isn't just a risk factor, it becomes a central driver of biological aging. Is level 10 reversible? Partially. Even at advanced stages, reducing inflammation improves quality of life, reduces symptom burden, and can decelerate further decline. But the earlier you act, the more restoration you can expect. Inflammaging is not destiny, it's a process you can interrupt. Reduce the ember now, and you preserve your energy, cognition, mobility, and longevity. Subscribe to Science Unlocked for the next deep dive. Comment below, which of the 10 levels surprised you the most?
your story might prompt someone else to act.